Today I'm showing you the best deck for you to use to win Grand Challengers consistently. Archer Queen Hoggies absolutely shreds so many decks in the meta right now, so today we're trying to go for 12 wins with this deck. All right, first game, we've got Fable K here. This deck is so, so offensive. It is insane. The defense, of course, it has to be pristine, but with the quick cycle, the three car, oh, that was a nice little interaction on the goblins right there. All right, but yeah, hogs and single early, often. It's a usually a good play. You don't want it to like start off with it, but I felt like with the goblins out of hand, it was probably a good idea to go in with hoggies. And just like that, a nice early 700 damage. So this deck is gonna be extremely offensive, but you're also going to have insane defensive capabilities with the archer queen the royal delivery um just the goblins they're so broken um but yeah the pressure is insane especially if you can get a queen down on the field so you can capitalize on three card cycle it is insane um goblin hut Who, who's worried about goblin hut bro i know for, for damn sure, I'm not worried about no Goblin Hut because this deck is going to shred Goblin Hut. And I know Goblin Hut's getting a nerf next season, but I imagine it will still be around. And any building deck is just going to get demolished by the amount of earthquakes you can spit out with this Queen Hoggies deck. And just like that, we can, we're just getting so much damage from these Hoggies. And all we need is a little delivery here to, to help us out against this counter push. Um, oh, guys, I gave up a Goblin Hit. Damn, okay, but I mean, this is this is just honestly fine. I don't want to use my queen, really, because if he goes graveyard, I'd rather go with my queen on the graveyard. Yeah, so I'm going to have to go probably no goblins because I wanted to go goblins, or maybe I should have hit the ability afterwards. We're going to take a little bit of damage, but we're still up a ton, so that's fine. Oh, and an overcommit with the poison there. Yeah, that's, that's a good graveyard placement from him because I couldn't use my goblins because they were just going to die to the Skeleton King. So that's why I had to tank a little bit of damage there. But he did spend a ton of elixir. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to go in with hogs here and we're going to punish. And I don't imagine he has a great counter. Yep, he has arrows. But he's, he, he was down a lot after that play with the graveyard. Now, you know, it, all that damage we took, yeah, it, it's, it's already over by the time we hit double elixir because there's just no way that this guy is going to drop that much damage so yeah i mean you, you rascals at the bridge what are you doing bro and the goblins are such a good counter because i don't think he's back to arrows yet and so yeah i mean even when they have arrows you can just use you can use the earthquake to defend the graveyard you can use the queen you can use the log you can you could just cycle so many things and that's going to be ggs looks like this guy is just giving up so uh very nice domination versus goblin hut and uh let's get into the next game and just like that, we're already making opponents rage quit. This deck is actually insane. Game number two, we've got Joker coming in here. He has a really nice banner. Honestly, dude, the battle banners are one of my most underrated updates. Like, I actually really love the battle banner update. He's going to go tomb first play. We got an EQ for that. Just getting some free tower damage. Get this EQ out of here. He's going to give us an... Uh, a, oh, he's a lava player. Dirty lava player. You know we hate lava players on this channel, guys. You know, you already know we hate... Um... <laughs> I'm just playing with y'all. I'm just playing. But the Queen Hoggies deck is definitely an interesting matchup against Lava. So I assume we're, we're just going to go Goblins here. I want his Balloon out before I Queen. Yep, Balloon comes down and now we're just going to go Queen when it targets the Balloon. You don't want to go Queen until he plays Balloon probably um, unless he doesn't have enough Elixir to play Balloon because that way, you know, you, you would just lose your tower to the Balloon. You need to save the Queen as your only air targeter against the Balloon. And so here, just a Fire Spirit, not really necessary, but we're probably going to take no damage from those puppies yet because of the Fire Spirit. So I think it was a pretty good play there. We're going to split Hoggies here. I see people do this against me. It's definitely a good play because, look, we forced out seven Elixir with just five um, so I think that's a really good trade and we killed the Valk and he's got split archers But honestly, like I don't really have to worry about split archers like <laughs> there It's not really a problem, especially for a plus two trade for me. That's definitely good And we took his tower. Yeah, we took his tower down to 1500 about half health the goblins He doesn't really have a good counter to the goblins. So we're gonna get some nice damage and it was like what 400 damage just from those goblins and it really doesn't hurt us at all to play those goblins So that was really good. Uh, we're just gonna spirit. We're gonna try and cycle a little bit Yeah, queen is definitely coming in up here because we can just hit this ability uh, Yep, he's not gonna be able to fireball fast enough. No, sir And now he doesn't have enough elixir to back up his lava and play defense on the hogs So he's got to choose one and he chooses defense That was not the wise choice my friend because we still did a bunch of damage and the queen staying alive I don't actually know if that's a good thing, but 
I mean, she'll die pretty soon. So I'm just going to play this delivery to distract the Valk because I'd rather save my cannon for his balloon. And let's see, we're going to, yeah, we're just going to EQ log, honestly, because I don't really need those cards for anything else. We're just going to get some damage and we're going to hoggies here uh, with the fire spirit because I know he's going to him still. Can we splash? Can we splash? Oh, that was clean. We just hit all of them, bro. That was clean. Oh, oh I'm sorry. That was clean. That was clean. And now we're going to go cannon here. I want all. Oh, I wanted him to go balloon. Oh, he did go balloon. He did go balloon. We're hitting that ability. We're going to shred this balloon. Oh, my goodness. We're actually playing this so well. I feel bad for this lava player because I know exactly how to beat him as a lava player myself. And so here's where it's going to get a bit tricky. We're just going to... We're going to hoggies pull everything back here so we can cycle back to another queen and his lava isn't going to do enough damage by itself. So we are going to take this nice GG's against it. It's a pretty outdated lava deck. It was for last meta, but still definitely a nice dub when we only have one air counter in the queen. That was a beautiful dub. All right, Jarda, let's see what he's got uh, cooking. Um... I usually like this. I don't think goblins starting off with is a bad play. Like goblins at the bridge, it's not that bad. But especially when he goes log like that. But fire spirit is usually safer, and we kill all the goblins. So um, he looks like he has goblins and log. It could be. Ooh, you know what? It could be a mirror. Ooh, this is really testing the skill. Let's see. This might be a mirror, guys. That would be cool. Um, Let's test my skill. We're just going to log this queen. Oh, that was beautiful. We're going to do this, and we're also going to cannon here. Last second. It was a pretty sloppy cannon, but, um, you know, it does the job. We're fine. So now that this cannon is uh, out of cycle, at least for right now, we could go with our own set of hoggies. Maybe get an earthquake ready. Um, yeah, we'll definitely do that. Into a fire spirit. I don't really like that. We'll get an EQ ready. I wanted to hit the go I wanted to hit the goblins. We're still going to take the damage lead, but... I wanted to get a perfect timing EQ down because you can kill goblins with Earthquake if you hit them with all three waves of the Earthquake. So I really wanted to do that, but uh, it's a shame. It's a shame. So just, can we get this Fire Spirit? Oh, that's, bi that's big. We hit the Queen too. Like you're just giving up Fire Spirit damage. That's really not a good idea because chip damage is going to be everything in this game. We're going to go Delivery Cannon here, pull everything in the middle, and we're going to have to hit the ability on our Queen because his Queen was targeting my Queen. How many times did I just say Queen in like the span of five seconds? That was crazy. Okay, well, the commentary game is on point. Um, let's make sure I'm backing that up with the gameplay, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Um, we're just gonna log, like, I'd rather save, yeah, I'd rather probably save log for his hoggies, but... I feel like we don't want to take fire spirit damage. Maybe if my tower was more healthy, if he was going forward on the other tower. See, look, now we're gonna kill the gobs. Um, and we get a queen, or a hoggy hit, so that was pretty nice. We're gonna go spirit, we're gonna go cannon real fast up here. And we're gonna go log as well, that should wrap up pretty much all of them, if not all of them. Yeah, we're not gonna take any damage. Hell no! I don't know. Okay, we're going to go queen in the lane that's less healthy for him because that's the lane I would assume he's going in. And also, if we place hoggies while my queen is down, we're going to get three card cycle. Same with the EQ. Um, he does not go with the building. He goes with delivery log. But we still, we're up 700 right here. So, oh, this is going to be tough. I just used my delivery on the wrong spot. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, we're going to have to spirit, bro. We're going to have to spirit in gobs, bro. And his queen's going to do damage. But it's okay, because that was a healthier lane. Okay, I'm choking a little bit. It's fine, though. We're still in the lead. Um, and we're definitely not out of it, for sure. We could afford a little blunder because of the damage I went up at the start. That's why sacking that fire spirit was so important. Um, we're going to go hoggies and EQ. I know it's into a queen, but still... Um, we do get a hoggy through. We got one hog through and his queen is dead and we could just delivery log. That is huge for us. Yeah, that's a big, that's big, 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 big. Now we can go with our own, our next set of hoggies, which is, um, okay, we're just going to EQ. We're going to EQ and we should be able to get these hoggies to the tower. And we do get a hit, two hits, big, big hits, but we're up 300. We're extending the lead once more. Let's go. All right. Cannon delivery. The spirit hit two of them. Pretty clutch spirit right there. And no EQ coming from our opponent because I believe that was an anti 
tower EQ spot, so he wouldn't have been able to get damage. I feel like we always, we gotta keep up this damage lead with these EQs, especially while my queen is down, because I'm getting the three card cycle as I've mentioned. We're gonna log here, and we should be able to kill this queen too. Oh, we didn't kill it, but I mean a delivery, or maybe goblins here will do the, do the job. Yeah, so unfortunately he got that EQ down while he did have three card cycle active, so that sucks, but um, we're still up 400, so that's good. We're up exactly 400, actually. It's kind of funny. Um, I got to get these hoggies down while my queen is down so I can get the three card cycle. Um, we're going to go log, maybe hit some goblins. We're going to go EQ. Got to make sure the EQs are getting down while my queen is alive. He's going with his own hoggies. He's playing well. We're going to have to log back these hoggies. Hopefully no damage from them. Uh, we're going to go delivery preemptive in case he goes hogs. And he does. And he does. And we hit all of them. That's clutch. We're going to throw an EQ down. Oh, no, 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 no. They're breaking through. They're breaking through. Oh, that log. That log was the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay. Okay. He doesn't have any elixir. We could just cannon and spirit here. We could just cannon spirit log. Oh, and he didn't have enough elixir to defend our hogs. GG's. Let's go. Oh, wait. Is it? Oh, yeah. It's GG's. 100%. He can't get another EQ down. Even if he did, wouldn't have been good enough, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Let's go. We we won by like 90 something HP, bro. 96. That's crazy, dude. That is actually crazy. We're going to move up to I believe Dude, that's crazy. We're up to 10 wins now. All right, we only need two more wins, ladies and gentlemen. We're at 10 wins in the GC facing Louise. Also, quick question for you guys. What is the difference between Louis and Louis? Cuz I've seen L U I S and I don't know if that's Louis or Louis, and I've seen L-O-U-I-S, and I don't know if that's Louis or Louis. So if anybody is an expert on Louis or versus Louis, please let me know in the in the comments. Also, quick little fun fact, Earthquake plus Zappy, or Earthquake plus Log kills the Zappies. So, um, yeah, but be sure to let me know in the comments what the, um, what the correct, correct pronunciation is for both of those. Because, uh, you know, I don't want to offend nobody. I don't want to offend nobody for sure. Um, okay, let's... I'm thinking... Honestly, we could probably go spirit and then chill. Uh, I could definitely think about, I don't know, a queen, I guess. A queen's not a bad counter to the XE. Um, okay, that's good. We're going to go... Oh, we need to get back to our EQ immediately. Please, please. Yeah, I, I already told you guys, the goblin hut just gets eradicated versus our deck. It's amazing. Um... Yeah, and the delivery, that's very nice, the Goblin Hunt nerf, it's going to reduce the spear count to one after death, so we don't have to drop a whole nother, a bunch of elixir just to counter the death spear goblins, so that'll be nice. Um, he's going to barrel, so yeah, it looks like the graveyard deck, I mean, we, we, we tend to do pretty well, that's why this deck is so good in the meta too, it's because it counters all these Goblin Hunt decks, um, but it's also good against a lot of other stuff, maybe not like Gollum, but... Nothing's good against Gollum, bro. <laughs> or E-Gollum, bro. All the Gollums. He's, that's a bad poison, honestly. I mean, actually, he kills the Queen, so it's not horrible, but still, I wouldn't have done that. It's going to go XE, XE NATO. He just spent 8 on 5 and still took a crap ton of damage. That's really good. Oh, do we deliver? Yeah, might as well just deliver. We're going to Spirit to keep this cannon alive. That cannon is so clutch. Oh, my God. Um... I don't want to go hoggies here. Uh, I yeah, whatever, we'll do it. Okay. Um, I was expecting a hut, but I guess he's going to go with the XE play again. I don't really know why he keeps going executioner. It's not working for him. And we killed it with the queen, so. Yeah, I mean, as long as we save his EQ for his hut, we got to cycle back to another EQ for his hut, but it is what it, it is. What it is. You know, cannon. Mm, yeah, just EQ up here, I guess. There's no point not to. And we are going to get those all down to 1 HP. We are taking a little bit too much damage on the right side. We're going to spirit to tank here. Um, dude, the queen is so good against the Skelly King. Now we can go hogs. Okay, he predicted it with the XE. So now he'll be able to full wrap it up. But, you know, he I don't think he can cycle as fast as we can for sure. So uh, we're going to wait just a second in delivery once it's crosses the bridge. Also, we can use EQ on defense for this if he kills our goblins. We're not going to here, obviously, but now his executioner's out of cycle. We can just EQ and probably log here too, just to kill these spears. Um, yeah, look at the look at the hoggies! Look at the hoggies! 
the Hoggies are dope here. They're carrying right now. Um, queen, I believe. Actually, yeah, that was a good idea not to queen there. Because I can just go, like, with another cannon. Since I believe queen is better at taking out the executioner. And then we don't even have to worry about the skeletons. Especially since that's not the lane he's going in. Now he has no exe because for some reason this man used it on offense. He's going to tornado to king and it doesn't work. He only gets one of them. Okay, we're just no way we're blowing a thousand damage lead for sure. Um, cannon, queen, hoggies in a second here. Yep, there come the hoggies. They're gonna pre EQ for his hut. Oh, we hit, it. we hit it, we hit those, bro. We hit those, and now the, all the hoggies are going to the. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so we just need to cycle quickly. Um, play a little good defense here. I'm gonna go goblins. I might even just delivery an EQ on this. The EQ is actually a really good counter to his his graveyard, which is weird, but it does a really good job. And he that was his breakthrough. That was the only time he was gonna break through, and he, he only got two like like what 300 damage. So I'm not really worried at all. We we'll just go hoggies end the game here. There's no way he's defending. Yeah, he knows. He knows. GGS. Now we're gonna get 11 wins. We only need one more for the for the GC. So, hopefully we can get it. Hopefully a nice graveyard matchup again. This is for all the marbles. Ladies and gentlemen, all the marbles. Roberto Lagos from Chile All-Stars. Let's see. I'm not... I want to go Hoggy's first play, but at the same time, I don't think that's a good play because he can get counter-punished easily. And bes besides, if he goes like Lava or something, like, and I don't have my Hoggy's to punish immediately, it's not good for me at all, I don't think. So I, that's why I don't think it's actually a good idea to go Hoggy's first play. We'll just log here. He's got goblins. Goblins is usually... Oh, oh my gosh, it's another goblin hut. You need to play this deck right now, guys. You need to play it right now because it just shreds goblin hut, bro. Goblin hut, it, it, it's gone. It's gone. That's the problem. It's going to get the death spawn off. But this is still just such a good deck against goblin hut, bro, which is everywhere. And it's good against graveyard, too. Um, maybe not, like, splash yard, but... I mean, it's definitely a pretty good deck against a lot of a lot of cycle, a lot of stuff like that. Beatdown also, if you can get into a good cycle early on. But yeah, I mean, just look at the 1,500 damage we just got from those one pair of hoggies. That's crazy, bro. But okay, Spirit, this is like a free fireball chip damage if he lets it get to the tower. Which he does. Free 230. And we're just going to gonna EQ again. And if you can EQ fast enough, you can kill the first wave of spears. So that's a W. Like, dude. We have no problem dealing with uh, with, with this deck. So I'm, I'm happy that, you know, we're facing the Gob Hut. I never thought I'd say I was happy to face Goblin Hut, but I am playing this deck. We're just going to pre-log. I didn't manage to hit anything, but we did knock back that, that bad boy. And so here's the only tricky part is when your opponent's getting a good counter push down. But now we're just going to queen. We're probably just going to maybe delivery. Hit the ability first, obviously. Um, I might just EQ, honestly. He's not going to have enough elixir to pop the ability, so we're just going to EQ on defense. So we take a lot of damage, but we should be able to drag this back with the fire spirit. And then we're going to go goblins as well, drag this back, and kill his goblins. And this is just beautiful. And we're going to log as well. We're going to take like one hit from the from the phoenix. But that's okay, because we, we got all of the damage that he just got on us with one hoggies pushing single elixir, dude. So I don't really, I don't have a problem at all. I'm, I'm We're chilling, bro. He's down to 171. That is a log and an EQ away from this game being over. We're just going to spear it temporarily to defend against these spears. Buy us time while the delivery got down. Cannon is going to be such a good counter against the king. Uh, you know, queen is coming in here for the phoenix. We're just going to be able to log his egg. Or maybe we'll just go goblins first. He's going to go poison, so I might EQ on defense. We're just going to log, actually. I don't need to EQ on defense. We'll EQ on offense, and now we're only one log away. In which we will, we're already back to it. Dude, I feel like I just played my log. How the hell are we back to another one? Okay, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because, I mean, we just straight up dominated that dude. And sure, it could have been cleaner. I could have played a little more defense. But I still think that was one of the most elegant 12 wins we've had on the channel. Alright guys, if you want to see the chest opening, link is in the description to my OnlyFans in which you can check out the chest opening. 